Our top story tonight, the San Luis Obispo County District Attorney's Office has announced misdemeanor charges were filed against Black Lives Matter protest organizer Tiana Arata. Fox 11's Annika Abbott explains the charges Arata now faces. The District Attorney's Office is pressing 13 misdemeanor charges against Tiana Arata. Among the misdemeanor charges Arata is facing are unlawful assembly, disturbing the peace, obstruction of a thoroughfare, and false imprisonment. She is not facing any of the several felonies recommended by the San Luis Obispo Police Department. District Attorney Dan Dow says the conduct at a July 21st protest was not peaceful and that it deprived others of their right to enjoy liberty. Before his announcement Wednesday, Free Tiana protesters marched to the post office to mail boxes of petitions to District Attorney Dan Dow. They collected over half a million signatures asking him not to file charges. He has not heard the cries of all the people, and so 500,000 people agree with that. And I think that needs to be considered. Originally, protesters tried to deliver the petition straight to his office, but the district attorney did not accept them. We came up with an alternative solution of mailing the papers to him because legally he has to open all the mail that comes to him. The arraignment for Arata is Thursday. Protesters plan on being outside the courthouse all day. We'll be out here full force. I already know there'll be counter protesters out here too. We'll be here. We'll be here in support of Tiana Arata. We are just there to support Tiana and show solidarity for her. We won't stop. This movement is not going to stop. This revolution is not going to stop. In San Luis Obispo, Annika Abbott, Fox 11 News. During the march, there was an incident where a motorcyclist was caught on camera nearly running over a protester. This video appears to show the motorcyclist on the wrong side of the road driving at a protester who was holding a megaphone. San Luis Obispo police say they are still taking statements and piecing together what happened.